What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, Manchester Night 1, Villa 0. Basically, I could say top four should be secured. Um, I think Newcastle won again. And gotta get a big shout out to Newcastle, man. I wasn't expecting them to even be in top four contention. But the way that they have played all season, man, I mean, they're gonna be a top four with the likes of Callum Wilson, Joe and Tim in the midfield, you know what I mean? Uh, it's all. <laughs> Uh, obviously, I think it's been very, very good for him. Uh, but for us, man, it's uh, it's another step towards top four. Got to get big shout out to Victor Lindelof. I mean, this dude. Man, I mean, how many times have I praised him? How many times have I praised Victor Lindelof over what he's done? Every game he's played for us. Every game he's started for us, man, he's been freaking phenomenal. Every game. Uh, major, major, I, I won't say every game, but ever since you know he's really started starting now, He's 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 been he's been good. Hopefully we do keep him. He just you know he just our four string in the center back. I think McGuire's probably gonna be gone. Hopefully they're probably gonna bring one in. Cause Ron, you know his injury issues and then you know stuff like that. Um, but man, that save he had off the line today would save the goal. And then at the end, it headers away clearances. I mean he's he's good. We do love his, I've always liked Lennon Law. I know his passing has he's always been good. Uh, I know you know, not, you know the, I do know like the pace at times can be kind of like suckyish, but I mean he's shout Vic man, shout Lennon Law. He thought the low played well on the right, play play right. I thought Shaw again left in the back playing good. Thought Miles probably had one of his better games recently. Um, defensively he's sound. I think offensively at times we still I still need to see a lot more from RC offensively. Um the hands, I mean that that little diamond that he had. I'm like, <laughs> I mean that's what a lot of us want to see from the head, man. Uh, there's still some outs and bounce about the head. That's something to win him. But um he's gonna be our goalkeeper, so I'm gonna support him until he's not our goalkeeper no more. Um Bruno playing off the wing. Uh I thought we had some uh, you know, chances to Score at least one, two more. We should, we should have had a pen again. Ever since them Liverpool comments from, from Klopp last season, we or years ago, whatever, we haven't really gotten any pens. It's uh, it's crazy. It was, it was crazy. Um, I will get to the uh, protest, but I do want to go over the game right quick. Um, that customer probably had one of his bad games as well. He had much, much better game this is than we have seen recently. He's lots of pace played well. Erickson thought was tabbed shady today. Hasn't been as good as he was earlier, but yeah, Jaden is, is looking a lot better game by game. Uh, Rashford we did a lot of like through balls to Rashi, try to get him, you know, in the back, try to get him through the uh, Aston Villa's back line. Worked the times, sometimes it didn't, but that's kind of really the play with him. Uh, also, go back to Casemiro. Casemiro did hit the post. Also, the goal by Bruno, a good goal right before the half. Um, to squeeze it in. Um, but yeah, that we had a very, very soft performance. Very soft performance. I think Villa was scoring like what double digit straight games, stuff like that. In this game, they finally didn't score. Hmm. Hey, it's that man. Chess night defense, man. Um, on to the protest, but I think that's pretty much it about the game. Uh, Marshall came on, Grant came on, Farrell better than he did, NC came on. Like, so we should have scored more than one. We had chances. We just were just decision making at times with them, man. Just the decision making at times with them is shaky. Um, but yeah, going to your protest, I, I did see a protest before the game. A big, big crowd. Um, obviously, I think Jim Ratcliffe, whatever, is going to be our owner, potentially. Um, first, I don't know really too, too much about him. But just from the stuff I've been reading and hearing, he's not a very popular guy around here. Um, regarding Manchester United fans, um, I will take the Qatar on this, but I think Rakhine still wants, wants to keep the Glazers. Why? 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 Why in the world would you still want to keep the Glazers? After what they've done to his team, to his, you know, brand. Oh, brother. But this year, protest, man, I love the protest, obviously. Empty seats early on, but um, obviously the win was good. But you know, a lot of people are more affected by the uh, you know the potential 
ownership change. Um, it's good that it's getting changed, but it still involves the owner still having some stake in the club. And I'm not really a fan of that. Um, you know, I know, I don't know, I haven't really been around since they, since they came in, but I have, you know, just hearing about the stuff, stuff we've seen, stuff like that. Even the summers, the transfer window, stuff like that, they don't, they don't care about the club. You don't ever hear from, from them. I think they're barely at the games. Um, just the stuff that they do, taking dividends, stuff like that. You know, they, they're lame. They are a lame group of, uh, people, man, as owners. But, um, just not a fan of them, really. Just not a fan of them. But um we'll see what happens. But well, unfortunately does seem like it's gonna be Rack uh Jim Ratcliffe and I think he was saying he was like a Chelsea season ticket holder. So why is that a Chelsea season ticket holder trying to own us? Yeah. I know a lot of people wanted the Qatar the the Qatar owners in. I would have happily taken them just of what they wanted to do, just seeing, you know, how invested they're gonna be in the club, you know, you the facility stuff like that, but now we have now we potentially have this dude. But um yeah man, let's you know let's enjoy the win. But at the same time, you know, there's bigger there's bigger things in mind obviously with this ownership change. So uh you guys let, let me know you guys talk about that in the comments down below. Enjoy the win. Peace.